So do you ever have those days where you wake up and you're like, I don't really feel up to doing a full workout, but I want to do something and I want to at least get some movement going because it's cold, it's winter time, I'm inside a lot. Well, then today's sequence is going to be really helpful for you. It's a short little T-tap workout that you can fit in anytime. And if you're new to T-tap, it's a lymphatic exercise technique that maximizes muscle activation along with lymphatic flow. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna do is a little spinal twist to warm up the spine. So sit tall on your sit bones, feet cross-legged, hands gonna come to the opposite side. So you're gonna be coming to that opposite knee, and then your thumb's gonna come at that back tailbone right in alignment with it. And I want you to turn your head and look over that opposite shoulder. Now take a big inhale and expand the front, back, and sides of your ribs. Inhale, and then exhale. Feel that stretch. One more time. Inhale, look over that shoulder, and exhale. Now turn your head slowly so you're looking across the other shoulder. Tall with the torso. Inhale, feel that expansion in the ribs, and exhale. Now look to the back. Now we're going to look to the front for two. Back for two, front for two, back for two, curl, release it down, hunch into those shoulders, inhale, and exhale. Now come slowly up, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, opposite hand, opposite knee, arm comes back, in line with that tailbone, turn the shoulders, stack them straight across, look over that shoulder, inhale, and exhale, really think to expand that rib, those ribs like an umbrella, inhale, and exhale. Now we're gonna look slowly over to the front, keeping those shoulders square as you can by pulling that knee. Inhale, and exhale. And now look to the back for two, front for two, back for two, front for two, back for two, release, curl, looking at the ground, hunch those shoulders up, inhale. Come up slowly as you exhale. Awesome legs, so go ahead and lay down. On your back, elbows at the ground, push to scoot that tailbone under. Remember, if you've watched my tutorial of this, you know that you use this as a lever to push, scoot that tailbone under. Chin tucks in, point those toes, turn out towards the little toe. Ready, here we go. So it's one, two, three, point those toes, and then faster. Five, six, seven, feel the squeeze on the calf, and now it's flex foot, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now remember, cross, cross at the ankle, reach down for two, and then press elbows to low back to the floor as you push it up, feel it on the outside edge of those legs. Cross, cross, ankle to ankle, reach it down for two, and then press low back to the floor as you turn it up, turning out ankle, hip, knee, all the way up. Feel it all the way up those legs. Let's do that. Again, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll feel this in the tummy as well. And now it's flex foot. Flex foot. Three, four, five, six. If you're kicking the ceiling, eight. And now it's cross, 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 ankle to ankle. Reach down for two. And then reach it up. Reach through those legs, turning out knee to ankle all the way. Cross, cross, turn it out, angle, ankle, reach down for two, and extend all the way back up to the top. One more time, that whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, pointing those toes every time. And now it's flat foot. Two, three, four, five, six. Keep pressing those elbows. I know it's hard to remember. Cross, 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 angle, ankle, turn it out. Reach down for two and press that low back as you extend all the way through those legs. Cross, cross, ankle, ankle, reach down for two. Press those elbows to keep that low back flat as you turn out ankle, knee, and hip all the way up. Very good. Okay, now we're going to do pretzel twist. Go ahead and come on that side. Head rests in the hands for pretzel twist. Bottom leg goes out. Other leg goes up. Hand up, remember you can have it here or have it here. I like it here because it gives me extra lat activation. But you're pressing there to feel right down that back. Ready, here we go. So it's over and up. Straighten and bend. Over two, three and up. Point that toe at the top. Both feet are pointed and up. 
straighten and bend. It's a spinal twist, laying on your side. Very good. Five and straighten and bend. You can use a bear claw with that hand. Gives you extra activation at the arm. Seven and extend. Last time, eight and extend all the way. Now bring that bottom leg in. Straighten the top leg. Now roll that hip over. So hip comes over, shoulder comes over till you're at that side. Now pull on those elbows. Pull to feel that stretch all the way down that hip. Chin comes in. Ready? Here we go. Four points. So it's point, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And flat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now bring that arm up. Remember, knee and ankle straight as much as you can. Elbow up. And extend like someone's pulling your ankle and your wrist. So it's two and extend. Three, extend. Four, keep that toe pointed all the time. Five, extend. Six, and we're going for eight. That's seven. Last time, bring it in, bring it out. Relax and tail. Drag it on up for the other side. Remember, hand gently resting the head. I like to put my thumb back there right at the base of the neck to just gently let it rest there. Point that toe, leg comes up, hand comes out, pushing to get those lats activated. Ready, here we go. So it's over two, three, and straighten and bend. Over two, three, extend. Straighten and bend. For three, and extend. Your thumbs going to the ground in the back. And bend. Five, we're going for eight, six, keep it in alignment, and seven, very good, last time, eight, and extend. Now, remember, bend that bottom leg, straighten the top leg, roll that hip, shoulder, all the way over, you'll feel that stretch on that hip on that side as well, point that toe, shoulder square to the ground, pull and scoop with those forearms, ready for points, so it's point, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Flexed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now bring that arm up, elbow up, knee and ankle in alignment, point that toe. And then extend all the way like someone's pulling that wrist out of that shoulder. Now we go for reps. So it's two, extend. Three, keep the elbow up in the back. Four, and point that toe. Five, it's a lot to remember. Six, and extend. Seven, and extend. Last time, eight, extend, drop it down. Just feel that nice stretch right there in that back as you hold that inhale, and exhale. Now walk it slowly on up, and the last move is hoe down. So we're gonna do one set, but we're gonna do it half slow and half fast for a little extra challenge. So remember, thumbs to the back wall, tall with the torso, here we go. So it's lift, two, Three, four, and to the side. Out, two, always point that toe. Four, and the bottom knee stays bent. That's the hard part. Four, and out, and thumbs stay stretching all the time. And now it's twos, up for two, and out for two. Up for two, out for two. Now single, so it's up and out two, and out, three, and out, four, and out, come to the center, shoulder roll. Okay, let's do the other side. Bottom knee stays bent, tall with the torso, thumbs to the back wall, ready, here we go. So it's lift, two, three, four, and to the side, out, two, three, four, and up, two, Three, four, and out. Two, three, four. So it's up for two, out for two, up for two, out. And now it's single, so it's up and out. Two and out. Three and out. Four and out. Come to the center. Shoulder roll. Now, keep those mittened hands, thumbs to the back wall. We're gonna go a little bit faster. Ready, here we go. So it's lift, two, three, four. <laughs> so much easier. 
three, four, up, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. And now it's up for two, out for two, up for two, out. Now it's single, so it's up and out, two and out, three, out, four, out. Bend the knees, shoulder roll. Ready? Other side. So it's up, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, up for two, out for two. Keep that bottom knee bend. You see how mine got straight? <laughs> and now it's up and out, two and out, three and out, four and out. Come to the center hunch and release. One more hunch and release. And that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this sequence. Love to hear if you tried this. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.